Hello, great people of Nigeria. Welcome to the Leadership Clinic. Today, in the Golden Leadership Center, I am so privileged to announce that one of the most outstanding thought leaders um, in Nigeria and also the um, CEO of Slum Education Initiative. I'm talking about no other than Pastor Femi Lazarus. Thank you so much, sir. You Thank you. Step your feet into the Golden Leadership Center. What are your thoughts? I'm inspired, really inspired, you know, and that was my first question. I'm wondering how a man kept going despite all the possible odds, um, the things that has been accomplished here over the years, um, the quality of leaders that have been raised. I'm inspired. I'm inspired, wow. really. Wow. I am. I am. Wow. In interesting. I mean, you are a thought leader. Yes. Your, the power of your mind is is very outstanding mm -hmm. and and so what are the three top leadership um competences or skills you would like every person listening to you now to take very seriously in only um thank you so much for that um the the mind um just like muscles can be gymed in the sense that the mind has the capacity to to expand um, some of the things we do to expand our mind is to furnish it with information that stretches us. Mm. There are information that um, they are just there for information's sake. But there is the quality of information that enhances the mind, you know, to, for us to optimize our performance. You know, so one of the things I do, both through books, um, li li um, listening to leaders and learning, is to make sure that my mind is expanded. You see, I, I do this when I travel and to make sure I see things that show me that um, um, yes, today's excellence is today's mediocrity. Mm. You see that? So um, that's one of the things I do. Mm. Mm. And, and, and those three things you like to share with the young people to say, hey, you have to own A, you have to own B, you have to own free. You know, those leadership skills, you want to say, you must have these skills if you must be the type of leader this country needs. Um, you know, first, what makes a leader a leader um, is the willingness to pay the price, mm. you know, to sacrifice mm. for others to find their path. You know, um, the tool for genuine leadership is influence. Uh, you know, and there's there's that thin line um, between influence and manipulation. Mm -hmm. You know that when you have been able to understand your part, and in shining in it, people are able, people are inspired and they want to go that direction. So I, I'd encourage every leader to first own the journey, mm -hmm. um, become what you want people to become. Mm -hmm. You see that, and in doing so, the ability to communicate. Yeah. You see, um, an effective leader is a communicator. Sure. He's not just a speaker, he's a yeah. communicator. Yeah. The ability to communicate your thoughts, the ability to communicate the passion, the vision, um, both through your lifestyle and um, through the things that you do. Yeah. You see that communication. And the third, I will call it discipline. Yeah. You see, um, discipline is the ability to do not just what is, um, what is easy yeah. or what is necessary. Yeah. I, I saw a, a, a quote somewhere that discipline is the decision to go the hard way to escape hard life. You see, it doesn't matter what we do. It takes discipline to continue. Someone asked me, he said, what, what's my motivation um, for doing the things I do every day? I said, deserve motivation. I don't need motivation, I need discipline. You see that? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Great people of Nigeria. You must remember, if a man doesn't have a purpose of waking up, sleeping becomes mm -hmm. interesting. 